Hi everyone, it's Liam here from A Shot of Wildlife and in today's video I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about the robin. Let's begin. Robins have long been considered as the UK's favourite bird, so it's only fitting that they are also the unofficial national bird of the country. There is some great news for fans of them too, as their numbers seem to be on the rise. They are currently the seventh most common garden bird and it's estimated that there are almost 7.5 million of them in the UK. Robins are quite a small bird, with a 21 cm wingspan and weighing just 14 to 21 grams. Their most notable feature is their bright red or orange breast and face, but they also have brown wings, tails and heads, and the feathers on their undersides are white or cream. Despite various suggested ways to tell the males from the females, such as the vibrancy of the red on their breasts or the darkness of their wing feathers, the truth is that from a distance it's almost impossible to be certain of the sex of a robin. Even their behaviour is not a guarantee, as there have been reports of females mounting the males during copulation. Throughout the summer, a robin's diet mainly consists of invertebrates, such as spiders, insects, and worms, but during the colder months they will also eat fruit, berries and seed and suet from bird feeding stations. Although they are most common in gardens, parks and deciduous woodlands, they are also found in pretty much every other habitat in the UK. Despite the difficulties that people may have in sex in robins, they don't seem to have this problem themselves. They spend the late winter roaming outside of their normal territories trying to find a mate and once they do, nest building can begin. This usually starts in early March and the nest, a cup of moss and dead leaves lined with hair, can be built in the most unusual of places, including empty shoes, under car bonnets and even in watering cans. Naturally they would try to nest close to or on the ground amongst dense vegetation. Each female will lay between four and six spotted cream coloured eggs which only she will incubate alone for 14 days until they hatch. When they do, both parents feed the chicks for a further 14 days until they leave the nest. It can take a robin chick more than this period of time to fully grow its flight feathers, so sometimes they leave the nest without being able to fly. Young robins are a similar shape and size to their parents, but completely lack the red breast. Robins will have two or sometimes three nests within a season, but as they are so susceptible to predation, only around 57% of the eggs that they lay will survive to the point of fledging. After they do fledge, robins don't have a very long life expectancy. The average in the wild is around two years, but one bird that was ringed in 1969 was found dead eight years later in 1977. With their close relationship to humans and their adaptability to live in an urban environment, there are currently no threats to robin populations in the UK. Well, that's the end of today's video and that's everything you need to know about the robin. If you can think of anything that I should have included in this video and haven't, then let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed it, then check out one of these other British wildlife videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.